Hi, let's learn about the types of numbers. Imagine a scenario where two people, a father and his four years old son. Son is exploring the world for the very first time with his father by walking along the road. Dad, how many floors are there in the apartment? There are seven floors in that apartment, my dear. How deep is this well? It would be six meters deep. Dad, how tall is that tree? That tree may be six meters. Dad, what is the time right now? It's eight o'clock. Dad, I want ice cream. Oops. I have no money, my dear. Actually, I forgot to bring my wallet from home. I will buy it next time. Okay, Dad. Dad, how much temperature is there now? I think there would be minus 20 degrees Celsius. In Japan, people speak Japanese. If people speak Japanese in France, French people may not understand. So on the whole, I don't understand what they both are saying. To avoid this confusion in signs, mathematicians discover a universal language that is called mathematics. In our previous scenario, son asked his father some questions which are How many floors are there in the apartment? What is the time? And how tall is the tree? For that his father replied, 7 floors, 8 o'clock and 6 meters. He counted them naturally. So that's the name of natural numbers or counting numbers because that we used to count. And it's typically denoted by the symbol, the stylish N. But at certain point, father replied, I have no money, nothing. Mathematically, we call this term nothing is zero. Well, the natural number with this additional number zero became whole numbers and is denoted by the stylish W. This is the place I have a doubt. When son asked his father how tall is the tree, father replied six meters. At the same time, son asked how deep is this well. He replied the same answer to that, 6 meters. This was why I doubted. How come there is only one natural number to those two different situations? Because tall means going up, whereas deep means going down. How to differentiate these two things? That's why whatever naturally appear like height, much, fast, consider them as positive numbers. Whereas, depth, little, late, consider them as negative numbers. Now let's look at them in a number line. The point zero on the number line is the origin. Numbers to the right of zero are positive. And numbers to the left of zero are negative. The term non-negative describes a number that is either positive or zero. Okay, for every positive number, there is a negative number. Negative numbers can also be thought of as the opposite of a positive number. So the opposite of 5 is negative 5. You might also notice that, as we go further down the number line, the negative numbers appear to get larger. However, the numbers are really getting smaller. For example, negative 10 is smaller than negative 5. This can be confusing, but think about it in terms of temperature. Suppose on a winter's day, it's negative 30 degrees Celsius in Prospect Creek, Alaska, and negative 40 degrees Celsius in Yakutia, Siberia. Yakutia would be colder than Prospect Creek because negative 40 is lower than negative 30. Okay, if we join the negative numbers with the whole number, 
we call it as integers and it is denoted by z z yes it is because the german word for numbers is zahlen the integers form a pretty comprehensive set of numbers right but even after coining integers one could not relax we can add integers subtract integers and multiply integers only when we want to divide two integers it doesn't always work the ratio 10 over 2 is simple 8 over 2 is also simple but 9 over 2 is not quite as obvious it has to be somewhere in between 4 and 5 but unfortunately there are not any integers between 4 and 5 therefore 9 over 2 must belong to a new group of numbers these are called quotients or rational numbers since a ratio made by dividing an integer by another integer the term rational contains the word ratio and a ratio is the same as a fraction so that can help you remember what a rational number is and the rational numbers represented by the symbol q so all fractions or ratios such as 376 over 290 this or this are rational numbers even integers let's say negative 7 this number can be written as a rational number namely negative 7 divided by 1 So all integers are rational numbers too and obviously the whole numbers and the natural numbers are also rational numbers rational numbers usually have many representations for example 1 over 2 equals 2 over 4 equals 3 over 6 and so on in addition they can be written as decimal numbers such as 1 over 2 equal 0.5 or 1 over 3 equals 0.33333 and so on so the decimal expansion of rational numbers is either finite like 0.64 or it eventually consists of repeating blocks of digits like 0.927575 and so on so formally speaking we can see that rational numbers can be expressed as a terminating or repeating or we can say a rational number is a number that can be in the form of p divided by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 why we will see why we should not divide by 0 in the next video rational numbers are everywhere along the number line however close you look there will be millions and millions more surely there is no space left for any other numbers but unfortunately this assumption is wrong and you know there are decimal numbers that don't repeat and don't end are called irrational numbers you have probably heard of pi pi what is pi okay okay i will explain Well, this question is one that people have puzzled over for thousands of years. Early mathematicians noticed that there is a special relationship between a circle's circumference, the distance around its edge, and its diameter, the distance across the circle through its center. If we take a circle of any size and divide its circumference by its diameter, you will always get the same number pi pi is often rounded to 22 over 7 or 3.14 but in reality those are just approximations actually pi is 3.141592 pi and so on the decimal goes on like that forever without stopping and without repeating a pattern that's why ancient greek mathematicians represented it with a letter from their alphabet because there is no way to write the full number at least theoretically pi can be written as a decimal but not a fraction or rational so that it is called an irrational number like pi there are other famous irrational numbers in mathematics euler number golden number square root of 2 and so on 
and there is a special name for combination of rational and irrational numbers that is real numbers and it is denoted by r and that's it that's all of the most important number types in mathematics from the natural numbers through to the real numbers there are other types of numbers because mathematics is a broad subject you will see them later summary to put your new knowledge into practice try the your turn questions below